everybody, brap, 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 and welcome to another Goldbridge Reacts. Why am I doing another Goldbridge Reacts? Because I've had a busy week and it's a lot easier than getting cooking or going driving. But look, I do enjoy these and I think a lot of people always say, well, I'm going to do some TikTok reacts. I'm going to go some of the big hits on TikTok and uh, react to some of those because a lot of people say, don't you feel weird reacting to yourself? And I think, no, I don't real feel weird. It's my content reacting to it. It's basically like UK gold. I'm regurgitating things like the BBC do at Christmas. But on a serious note, I'll also get asked a lot, do you like yourself? And I think, you know what? Sometimes I really do not like myself. I think um, one of the hardest missions in life, people think like playing Warzone or Grand Theft Auto is hard. The hardest mission in life is understanding yourself. You know, you don't get any bonus points for that. You don't complete the game until the end. No one gives you a review. You just die. But on a serious note, understanding yourself is very important. And yeah, you know, sometimes I can't stand myself. I'll be honest, I can't stand myself sometimes. Normally, I'm, uh, when I'm very tired and I'm hungover, the next morning looking in the mirror, I'll be screaming and shouting at myself saying, why did you have that extra pint of, uh, sorry, that extra bottle of baby sham? Why were you dancing to ABBA? You're a bloody disgrace and you're an embarrassment. Get back to bed, but you can't go back to bed because you've got to go to work. So, yeah, I have arguments myself. I don't like myself sometimes. I think that's, um, as I always say, look, maybe maybe my mind's different to everybody else's. I've never lived in anyone else's mind. If I did, I'd be a miracle worker. You, you know, you never know any how everyone how anyone else is living life compared to you. You don't. Anyway, deep bridge. Let's uh, let's let's have a look at some of these ticky tockies or TikToks. Let's go. English and. Uh... I was talking away, and he really wanted to talk about this book by this Shakespeare bloke. I think it, I think he wrote a few. I think it was quite good. And uh, I was talking about uh, Andy Cole's goal the night before, and uh, the United. And he was like, "Nobody wants to hear you talking about football." And I went, oh, "I think they do. I think they'd rather listen to me talking about football this. than this rubbish story about romance by somebody no one's ever heard of." I mean, who's called Romeo these days? And um, he came right up to me and he went, this is one of the greatest stories ever written. And I said, well, last night's goal for Andy Cole was one of the greatest goals of the month. It might be goal of the month. And he got right in my face and I went, are you doing this on purpose? And I said, can you can you back off, please? Your coffee, your coffee breath is now becoming pungent. And uh, everybody laughed, but I got kicked out. And I look back on it now and I just think it's just, this is what teachers have to put up with. You know what, that's, that, that's actually true, that story. That is true, but I've lied a little bit because I didn't say when he braved on me. I, I actually, I don't know why I toned it down for that because I'm going to tell you the truth now. When he came over to me, I was being really cocky. I was, I, was, I was sort of in that age group then, probably like 13, 14. I was really quite cocky and um, English class, I was quite popular in English. You know, your classes used to change a bit. Like my English class wasn't the same people as maths or science. My English class, I felt like quite one of the big players. I was a player, and uh, as he came over, I was like, he was like, this, this, this is one of the greatest stories ever written. And I was like, I specifically remember, again, Andy Cole's last goal was, last night, got last goal last night was one of the best goals of the month. I think people want to hear about it. And uh, then he came right up to me, and I and I went, can you move away, please? Because your breath smells of shit. That's what I said. I didn't say your coffee breath smells quite pungent. I just I just didn't want to tell the truth on that video because I thought it came across quite bad. But that's what I said, and I quite like quite rightly got kicked out. Uh, let's have a look at this one. And I've definitely noticed since the vaccines come, there've been some old people with 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 um with attitude. Old people with attitude, I call them, because basically for the last few weeks when you went on a walk, if you saw anybody over the age of 70, they literally would cross into a different postcode to avoid you in case that you breathed on them because obviously they're vulnerable. True. Well, I've noticed in the last few weeks, and look, I used to be in the police. Oh shit. I used to be in the police and- um, little, little trip. Not, little not, not the band, I'm not Sting. But I used to be in the police and I used to also, when I was younger, go into town. And as you know, in the urban areas, you do get gangs. These young, these old folk, they're like, they're like gang members now. I've had the vaccine, get out my way, bitch. Like you're walking down the road, you see someone over 70 now and you know they've had the vaccine because they ain't fucking moving. They're, they're coming for you. They are absolutely coming for you. And I've so true, so true. I've literally just got back actually uh, from, I went for a lunchtime meal with uh, with Mrs. Goldbridge and uh, it was quite a nice pub we went to. They do quite good food. I'll, sh I'll shout them out actually, the malt shovel. And uh, everybody who came in there was old people, right? And we've got our masks on when you walk to the table and that. They're walking around, they're breathing in your face. They don't care. I've had the vaccine. Have some breathe breath on your face. Do you want some? Do you want some of my breath on your chips? No, no, I don't actually. Because regardless of COVID, your breath smells of shit. 
but, but uh, yeah, they do. They do. Uh, they they're they're well up themselves. The old young the older people. Um, I've done that one before. Um, I've done that one before. Uh, Mark's amazing story about his driving test. Watch till the end for a happy ending. Seconds on my driving test. The instructor says, "Straight, go straight over. Don't you know? Just go straight over." And I went right. And he went, "Why are you disobeying my instructions?" And I went, "Because every bloody te every lesson I've had, true. Ideal. Every lesson I've had, we always go right." And he said, "Well, I go. I said to go straight ahead. That shows that you're not concentrating." And I said, "Well, actually." It does show that I'm not concentrating, but it also shows that the human body, um, the human brain, um, falls into the trap of rep repetition. It's like brushing your teeth. Do you remember brushing your teeth this morning? No, because you do it every morning. I've gone right because that's what my brain's telling me to do. It didn't work. But then on my second test, I passed it at a roundabout, stalled it, but recovered it, put it back, I didn't even take it out of gear. And he said, normally I would have given you a deduction for stalling it, but your recovery of it, I've not seen anything like that since Lewis Hamilton. And I said, this seconds I'm a dive drop. True, that is true. I did fail my first test because I went up to this dual carriageway that on my, t on, my, on, my on all my lessons we'd always go right and he wanted me to go straight over or something. He failed me on it and he was a complete and utter prick. And um, I told him that in so many words because I still wanted to try and pass my test, but it didn't work. And to this day, I wish I'd said, you're a complete and utter prick, got out of the car and walked. But it was Quinton, which was a good 20 minutes away from where I lived and I wanted to be back in time for EastEnders, so I didn't do it. But uh, yeah, it is a true story. I, I'm, all my stories are true. All my stories are true. Uh, what's this one? It's not my Lego. It's the daughter's Lego that she's built up. She got a little Dursley's house for Christmas. There's loads and loads of bits of Lego, but uh, she's done a good job there. Not allowed to play with it. Um, not having it, you know, I'm not spending money on Lego for people to play with it. It becomes an ornament. Uh, often she cries and looks at it. She's not even allowed in this room actually, but uh, I do take pictures and let her have a look at it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not, Lego's not for playing. I've always been a firm believer in that. But uh, of course I'm joking, I'm not a barbarian. Of course I'm not, but uh, it's not my Lego. Is that you know what I actually I, I do let you know that window behind that leads into the kitchen I do let her wave at the wave at me while I'm I, I'm I'm tidying up in there sometimes and sometimes I'll open that window behind and let her reach in and touch a figure or two but uh, yeah I'm, I'm a firm believer that Lego is there to be built put on a shelf and not played with uh, as, as she knows uh, right let next one let's go that is a joke by the way as well. Um, I'm not enjoying these. These are. Oh, I do love. This is one of my favourite clips. This is one of my favourite clips because it's so. It's so true. This is. This is like me when I'm losing. We were losing about five one at this time against DT's team, and uh, you know I have to try and get a word in. Uh, it's petulant. It's bad losing, but it's true. Who are you? Who's that? Who are you? You got to be twat. Who are you? Who are you? Don't feel me. Never heard of you. So pipe down. DT's little bitch, shut it! Who are you? Who's that? Who are you, you gobby twat? Who are you? Who are you? Don't film me. Never heard of you, so pipe down. DT's little bitch, shut it! Who are you? I just remember that. I mean, look, I, I don't lose a lot. I don't lose a lot, but when I lose, I lose badly. You know what? I don't, I don't just lose, I, I explode. Um, I really do. And um, yeah, I crashed and burned that day. Uh, yeah, I was goose. I wasn't maverick. I uh, I broke my neck and everything. I died. Um, yeah, we got stuffed and uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to stand there when you're getting absolutely bantered and, and not respond. Uh, I stand by that to this day. I mean, we had a chat afterwards and I said, look, I probably made you a bit uh, famous because no one really generally does know who you are. And now you're on a quite a viral clip on uh, our social media so uh, he was grateful at the end of the day said thank you very much for the help hopefully one day i'll be uh, as popular as you are i said i doubt it but uh, take the win um what else have we got here i can't use that one i can't use that one gold bridge the human meme get your hands off the camera that's not your property yeah that's the united fan what is going on with fifa 21 we're a pair of twins in a crap tennis suit Who's that on the sideline? Not playing. It's me! Yeah, it's, it's me! <laughs> Full kit wanker manager, look. Look. Get your hands off you the camera. It's not you your property. That, 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 I've never seen that one before. That's quite a funny one. Quite a funny one, that one. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got. I'll try and click, click ones that I don't know what they're all about. This is, what's the, Mark Goldbridge tries to call DT during Villa loss to rub it in. Humiliating. 
Fuck you. Turn the fuck off, man. Go and have a wank in front of his green screen. I remember that. I have got his number as well. He is. Him and Watkins. Not just as day. Humiliating. Fuck you. Turn the fuck off, man. Go and have a wank in front of his green screen. And what did he do two weeks later? Cut to DT with a D uh, with the green screen. He's all right, really. He, 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 he was in a bad place. He was in a bad place. Lindelof has been about as useful useful as Stephen Hawking's treadmill, and that's before he died and after. Useless. Ming, sort him out. Grab the little twat. Red card for that. Why? Is this? You know what? They're that. Look at him. Look at him with his clap. Someone punch the twat. Absolute idiot. I pressed the button by accident. What do you want? Do you want some Pope? Do you want some? Get back to Rome, you bloody big lanky twat. I slip. Lindelof has been a. I like those. I like those ones. They're funny. They're funny. They're funny. They're funny. Uh, you what, Mark? How's the back, Mark? I think it's doing a bit better having me old uh, mastermind chair. Don't. Da, 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 da. I just need a pussy to stroke. And I don't mean like that. I mean... You what? Come, come, Mr. Bond. <laughs> I don't mean like that either. I mean, he, he strokes his pussy saying, come, come, Mr. Bond. And I don't mean like that either. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes... Baddies, sometimes I do stuff and I think, how can people ever find that funny? And um, I... I, I can watch that and go why people find it funny because I'm talking about Dr. No with his white cat digging a hole digging up gonna dig a hole gonna dig a hole true or false the issue people have with Manchester City is that you've basically won the lottery or, be, or been given a FIFA cheat code because you spend money that you never ever 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 would have had you were Southampton you weren't you, you weren't a very big club and then suddenly boring Man, I've left City off now 99! Nine. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Um, this is how you tackle it. This one's a bit. Oh, he's done yet! What's this one? Hello, everybody. Here it is then. This is where all the magic happens. I'm not talking about the bed behind me. I, I, I'm talking about magic. Harry, po Harry Potter couldn't work the magic I work in there. But um, I've never had a, I've never had any complaints. Uh, if I was on TripAdvisor, it'd be five stars. But uh, enough of my uh, nonsense there. Um, hello, everybody. Here hello, it is. Then this is got the same. You couldn't say hello. No way. This man is forty-one and a father. Well, you, you, you've pulled me in here. Solskjaer is is progressing Manchester United. You know the graph is going up. It might not be as steep as that. It might be that, and there might be a little bit of stabilising. But it's always going like that. Now, if Solskjaer keeps doing that and there's the title, then inevitably at some point it's going to get there. Don't worry if you've not got the audio on. I'm not playing some game of crappy puppets. Hello! Hello! I'm Edward Wood and I'm Ollie. Can I have some players, please? No, you can't. Bye. I'm doing a graph. That's the title. That's the graph. Solskjaer, it's going up. So Solskjaer is... The funny thing is, people laugh about that. But I have it from on, on good authority. That is basically how Manchester United's transfer window actually happens. Solskjaer has to come in with a puppet, and uh, and, and Ed Woodward has one. He normally uses Sooty because it's his favourite show, and he stands there as Sooty, but he doesn't talk because Sooty couldn't talk. So Ollie has to come in and with his puppet and goes, "Hello, Ed, Eddie. Can I have? Can I have? Can Can Karaki come in and can I have Varane and Ricey and Sanchoe?" And he goes. So, uh, this, you know, people can say he's acting immature, but apparently that's that's how they do it. That is how they do it. Mark with the violation. JT, JT says, can you sing Park Life for my mum that's just passed? Well, she's not going to hear it, is she? That one, there was a violation. Uh, 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 I've seen that one before. I've seen that one before. Uh, FIFA's a game, says Daniel Johnson. Is it? Is it? Oh, God. Why is never, no one's ever, no one's ever seen that one. Uh, what car do you drive not being nosy? I love cars, says Shane. Well, I, I feel a bit uncomfortable telling you exactly what car I drive, but it's nothing that's going to get you excited. Unless you're an Arsenal fan who whacks one out when you score a goal. I 
Uh, what car do you drive? Where, 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 why, what? Hey, I'll show you. I'll I'll show you this one. What's this one? This is absolute gold. Why? Oh, you're trying to feel my tits. You <laughs> murder, murder. Um. Why? Oh, you're trying to feel my tits. You look. Grand Theft Auto is a violent place. It's a violent place. Violence occurs. Um, if you've never played any computer games, you probably think that's a very bad thing to do. What I would say is, for one, when I'm playing that game, I can never hear what they're saying. I didn't say think she said that. And I actually thought it was a... Because uh, I was about to go and do a mission to break in and save my friend who was being literally tortured by triads. I was in a stressful place. I thought that was a, a guard, so I punched it. I didn't hear anything about the tits. I didn't realise it was, uh, was uh, I don't know whether it was a woman or a man. So in my defence, um, I was just punching someone in a stressful anxiety position of thinking about my mate uh, getting stressed. But now I've watched it back, I realise it could come across in the very wrong way. I know what I want, and baby no, I'm not doing that one. Right, you can do this. I used to love playing this. Look at her, get off me you bloody hot dog! I'm fed up of people grabbing hold of me. It's not legal. You're not allowed to touch people up. Get off. Oh, go. You're in trouble. You've got to move. Look at him again. Get off me. They were they were good times for uh, Fall Guys. They were, they were a very unique time. They were a good time. Uh, I enjoyed them. I really did. What's this? JT, JT says, can you sing... Park life for my mum. My mum that's just passed. Well, she's not going to hear it, is she? But I will sing it. J uh, somebody reacting to it. No, I don't like the music ones. What's this? Goldberg. Apparently, they did used to have a statue of John Terry, but when it got wet, it kept slipping over. So, uh, for health and safety, they had to take it down. And as we look at the ground here, as we go around, we're outside the edge of Stamford Bridge at the moment. Talking about John Terry, they did used to have a condom machine every 10 metres when John Terry was playing here, because he literally would shag anything. Apparently, they did. I, I, you know what? I, I miss those days. People say, what's your favourite content? But I miss those days. I think the Emirates tour and the, the Stamford Bridge tour are two of my best, most enjoyable bits of content. And they're so old. I don't even know where they are. I think they might be on this channel. Um, they're brilliant. The Stamford Bridge tour and the uh, the Emirates tour, because I wouldn't get away with it now, I don't think. I think people would recognise me. But And I'm not saying that from because I'm big, big headed, but people do notice me a lot now. Um, they didn't then. And I really just walked around their stadiums as a rival fan and bantered them. But I had a lot of Arsenal fans and Chelsea fans saying it was very funny. Um, uh, they're, they're, they're two of my favourite videos. I should do a react to those videos because they was I really did, they did make me laugh and I can't remember them. So they were good fun. Um, chance for them to whip a ball in here. I think we're home and hosed now. It's a corner to them. Same top. Gonna... Oh fuck off! Fuck off! That's gonna get clipped. It I went did. quiet after saying we're home and home. Chance for them to whip. It the did ball get in clipped. Here. You're right. Don't know why this made me laugh so hard. You've got my attention. Uh, Mark, would you consider doing an Australian football watch along? Fully enough, Jackie. No. Uh, Mark, would it you? Didn't actually make me laugh. To be fair. Traditional top six. Let me just let me start again. Bruno Fernandez record against the traditional top six so far this season: five games, one goal, penalty. And you know the haters jump on that. Oh, Fernandez, rah, rah, ain't good enough against the top six. He's fucking shit and all this. Well, oh, fucking red. Bruno is shit. He's fucking shit. Right. Like the story. hilarious thing is, you could replace Bruno Fernandez with Manchester United. Manchester United's record against the top six yeah. in five yeah. games yeah. is one goal, a penalty. Yeah. So you, t so basically, they're proving the points because what they're doing is they're going Bruno Fernandez record against the traditional top six, one goal penalty. 
Take Bruno Fernandes out. Manchester United's record against the top six. One goal penalty. So Bruno is Manchester United. So it's, it, it proves the point. Bruno Fernandes is so important. I do have a tendency to over-egg a point, don't I? Um, I'll give it that. But I wouldn't be opposed to it, I suppose. Um, Shut up, bitch, you're a bitch. But I wouldn't be opposed to it, I suppose. Um, Shut up, bitch, you're a bitch. Right, you know that clip there? I I'll give you something here. That wasn't just some randomer going past. That was my nephew. And, and he's, he's from Nottingham and he's saying, shut up, Goldbridge, you're rubbish. People seem to think somebody, it was just a random kid who ran past and went, shut up, Goldbridge, you bitch. He said, shut up, Goldbridge, you're rubbish. And I knew who it was. Goldbridge Saddest Moments, part one. I bet it's got music on. Yeah. I don't like the sad one. I don't like the music ones. How can Chelsea fans not like Rudiger? I mean, that is a, this is, Scott McTominay's, also, uh, Haaland to Chelsea. Well, if Haaland goes to Chelsea, I would put Chelsea as favourites to win the Europa League next year, without a shadow of a doubt. If they've got Haaland up front in the Europa League, I think they'll win it. Also, uh, Haaland... What are you on about? What are you on about? My grand's a better director of football than uh, Ed Woodward. True. Miss you, Graham. Anyway, um, but I'm not joking. <laughs> she, she, she has, she's no longer with us. But um, you prat, you're a prat, absolute prat. Mark throws. It's up. just so stale and lack of tempo and. Oh, there's, 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 just cut in there. If I can just cut in there, somebody said that to me a game, few games ago. I sat here and I counted how many times Matic played the ball first touch and he, and he passed it first touch thirteen times in the one yeah, game. Would have been backwards. <laughs> when he's <laughs> facing forward, <laughs> he's forward. You've got to understand. When he's facing sideways, he passes it sideways. Pass. Ricky got buried that day. He really did. He really did. Um... Yes! Get in! Come on, A! Eh! Get in! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! You could live all day watching these. Ah, uh, John Shanley says that's the only cups you're getting this season. Yeah, whatever, John. The only woman you're going to see has got a staple through the middle. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. That was a violation. That was a violation. And on that bombshell, I think we'll, we'll maybe get one or two more in. I could sit here all day. Mark Goldbridge reacts to Belle Dufine. I've done it. I've done that before. Uh... Chelsea as an outsider for the Champions League. No, no, no. Bit of fun, Such guys. fun, it's not. It's genuinely not. Right, now, 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 you've got to make this jump. I used to love playing this game. Have it! Oh! 39, 40, 41. Have it, you yellow twat! Have that! Look at that! He didn't make it! He didn't make it on the line! He didn't make it, you bloody idiot. Such fun, it's not. I'm not a good winner either. I'm a bad loser. I'm not a good winner. Uh, yeah. I'm not. When she says size doesn't matter. Yes! yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! yes! Get in! Get in! I love that. I, you know what? I, I know there's a lot of clips of me, but that's one of my favourites because that was from a, a moment of pure pleasure when we beating uh, uh, Columbia, Columbia on penalties. If you know, you know. The German league is shit. I'm so I'm sorry. It is. And I, 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 I know you know I'll always shoot. This is a clip Mark Goldbridge talking about that Upa Meccano move from Leipzig to Bayern Munich. I think there's a massive narrative out there with football fans wondering why some of these players are going to Bayern Munich. Look, one of the biggest clubs in the world, the biggest club in Germany, a high paying club. Of course, it's a massive move for Upa Meccano. But when you move from Leipzig to Bayern, are you really challenging yourself in that league? Obviously, going to Chelsea, you could get Chelsea back on track to win Premier Leagues. Go to Liverpool. Um, even the likes of Man United. It'd be a massive move in that regard, but does Upa Meccano maybe have connection to living in Germany? That's a fair a fair response, but ultimately, what is... Yeah, I like Boovy, but realistically, I mean, get get back to me because there's a big difference there, isn't there? I, I, I was falling asleep a little bit. Um, probably why I get more views. Um, next one, let's have a quick look. What else we've got? Mark bantering people goes wrong. Oh, I've got to do it. Anybody? Hello! Hello! 16, 29. 
Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Banter that. Come on. Banter, banter, banter. Do your math. Banter, banter, banter. Da, da, da. Oh, fuck! Oh, what a bloody idiot! Yeah, you need to know the What's game there, idiot? but basically I was bantering people and I was going to take, the, I was gonna take the last place and I then I didn't take the I last can't place. Add... Idiot. And, uh, there, was, there was an opportunity to get the whole class to laugh, basically. And he had ginger hair. And uh, he basically, he, he said something and everyone laughed at him. And he had no jokes. Look, you're the, you're the hardest lad in the class. Don't try and be the funniest guy in the class because that's me. So he said something really stupid and everyone laughed at it. And it was about me and I hate being laughed at. So I, I basically went, freshly baked this morning. Take a look at my tan. Hey, hey, I'm a gingerbread man. And he just went mad. He, he picked up a box of uh, pens and threw them at me. And that the teacher had to grab hold of him, and I think he got a detention. But um, uh, uh, there was an opportunity to get the whole. Yeah, I do remember that as well. Uh, he, he tried to beat me up at lunchtime, but I ran and told the teacher. I was about fifteen as well. Some, sometimes authority is a good thing to fall back on when you're not very good at fighting. Uh, Mark Goldbridge entered Mo when Goldbridge entered God mode. This games against me already. Here. <laughs> I'm not doing the music ones. Don't like it. Goldbridge plays GTA. In your case, I ain't so sure. Oh, who told me to press triangle when I'm driving? Bloody hell. That was when I'm I was a noob. That's that was... what happens when you're a noob. Yeah. Somebody said okay, press triangle it. when you're driving and you'll get a boost. And I've been looking forward to that bit. And I bloody fell out of the car. Bloody hell. That was when I just started playing Grand Theft Auto again and someone said if you press triangle, you get a boost. You don't. That's why people over Christmas were going, well, I'm not ruining my Christmas. I'm still going to see all my family and friends over the Christmas period. Why shouldn't I? Oh, you're now seriously ill and some of your family members are dying. Well, at least you had a good Christmas. Did you enjoy your turkey, you selfish shit? That's why people... <laughs> over Christmas. We're Political going. bridge. Yeah, I, I, I sort of got quite angry about people with COVID in the UK over Christmas. Um, Alex Hunter missed with Goldbridge commentary. That look like you're running round in your feet. You can't miss. You can't miss this. He's bloody missed it. What a prat. What a prat. That look like you're running round in your These are good. These are good. These are good. They are good. Right. Stand up, have a stretch. It's got magic in these fingers. And many, many, many a girl's... No. Uh, Grandpa. Right. I could spend this all, all day looking at these. I really could. I really could. Seen such a bottling shit before. Valentine's Day's coming up as well. Um, and I'm not just talking to the women out there. I'm talking to the men. Get your girl, or boy, one of them. Put the name on it. And you could say 99 cooking. Um, 99 uh, Netflix viewing. I don't want to be sexist here and say it's about cooking. Uh, 99 cutting the grass. Um, 99 in the bed. No, no. Valentine's Day's coming up as well. At least sometimes I know how to stop myself. I've always liked a good curry me. So much so that I remember once, um, the, uh, I had some colleagues at work and I was like, oh, you know, we got on quite well. And I said, uh, do you fancy coming round on a Saturday night for a curry? And um, he said, no, I can't, I can't, well, we would like to, but the, the missus doesn't like curry. I went, oh, don't worry about it then. And he went, oh, should we rearrange? I went, no, if, if, if she doesn't like a curry, I'm never going to like her. And we sort of lost contact after that. I've always liked a good curry. People, people think that these things are made up, but actually I am quite blunt and rude. I think that the better I know somebody, the more rude I am. If you said like, if you ask Flex or people like that, what I'm like in real life, they'd say, yeah, he's quite rude. It's banter rude, but I genuinely would and did say that to that guy. It was like, oh, should we rearrange? No, because I, I just sort of, I, I hide it behind comedy, but it's probably what I really mean. Yeah.
but I have to be in a. I have to uh, know the person. I think just being blatantly rude to people who don't know you, they they tend to get the wrong idea. If you walk up to someone on the street and go, "How are you, fuckface?" They uh, they're probably not going to take it as well as somebody who's known you for quite a while. Anyway, look, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick video to keep something going on this channel. Got lots of plans for this channel, but it's just been a busy week. Make sure you subscribe, smash a like on the video. Take care, and I'll speak to you really soon. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that.